What are triglycerides? Triglycerides are a fatty substance found in our bloodstream. It's a bad cholesterol. We like to see our patients triglycerides at 150 milligrams per deciliter or less. Oftentimes high triglycerides come from the foods that we eat, the starches, the carbohydrates, and the simple sugars consumed on a regular basis. How can I lower triglycerides? One can lower triglycerides through lifestyle modifications such as decreasing the carbohydrates and simple sugars that they consume on a regular basis. They can also lower their triglycerides through activity by completing 30 to 45 minutes of a regular aerobic exercise most days of the week. And they can also lower their triglycerides by increasing the amount of omega-3 fish oils consumed on a daily basis. We recommend to our patients that they consume 1,000 milligrams of omega-3 fish oils for, ultim for optimum protection against sudden death. However, for redu reduction of triglycerides, we recommend anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 milligrams of omega-3 fish oils. There are also medications used to lower triglycerides if needed. Becky, could you explain plaque development? There are several new insights into how plaque develops. We traditionally thought that plaque grew on the lining of the artery wall, protruded into the artery, and blocked blood flow to the heart. We actually know today that plaque starts inside the lining of the artery wall before it protrudes into the artery and blocking blood flow. Additionally, we thought that plaque would grow and grow and grow until it blocked blood flow to the heart, causing the heart attack or sudden death. However, we know today that plaque is much like a zit. Before a zit burst, it gets red, angry, inflamed, and festers and has a thin layer of skin covering it. The same with plaque, as plaque sits in our arteries and if we don't get our risk factors under control, it continues to stay angry, inflamed, and festers. And if we never get a thick cap developed over the plaque, it, it will easily burst. And when that bursts, it only has the arterial lumen to burst into. And that's what causes the sudden heart attack or the sudden cardiac death. So it is important that you get all your risk factors under control to stabilize the plaque and to prevent plaque from bursting. How do you get a thick cap over your plaque? So one way to get a thick cap over your plaque is to complete regular aerobic exercise. When we exercise, we have smooth muscle cells in the, layer, in the lining of our artery wall, and they will migrate around to form the thick cap. So should we all exercise? Absolutely. If you have plaque, you can't afford to miss it. How do I know if I have plaque? If you have risk factors for heart disease, I strongly encourage you to see your health care provider as it might be recommended that you undergo a calcium screening. This can be done through the cardio scan. It will take images of your heart to determine if you have calcified plaque deposits in your heart arteries. Also, if you've had an angioplasty or stent or open heart surgery, you have plaque in your arteries. Once you know that you have plaque, that does put you at increased risk for developing heart events.